Hey everybody, it's Hylian Alchemist, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64. In the last episode, we defeated Bowser in the Fire Sea, and in this episode, we're going to finish Dire Dire Docks. Even though this video is, well, once again, seven and a half minutes long, wow. I am so sorry about that, it's even shorter than, uh... Wasn't some of the episodes in my uh, Zelda 1 LP about seven minutes long, like some of them? I don't remember. Maybe they were. Alright, so this mission is pole jumping for red coins, and this is why you need to defeat Bowser in the Fire Sea first, if you want to get this mission done. Otherwise, it will be impossible to get it completed. Because, as you can see, Bowser's submarine is gone. And that's because, like, um, as long as you have defeated Bowser in the Fire Sea, then that sub the submarine will finally disappear, and then um, these platforms will appear as well, and also these poles. And with these poles, you can use them to your, van to your advantage to get these uh, red coins here. But if you really want to get this mission done, then you do have to defeat Bowser first. And if you also remember, there is a hole that is right over there that you saw. Um, there was a, um... Like, there was a Bowser wall that was, um... Th that wall with Bowser's face that is blocking that hole. Well, now it's open, but, but you really do need to be careful. Because if you actually do go near it, then that hole will actually suck you in. And you'll actually be transported back to the, um... To that little uh, lake and, um... In the, um... Outside of the castle. Yeah, I'll take it right back outside of, um, Peach's castle. So you want to be careful of that, because that actually will suck you in. And by the way... Um... For this, uh, 100 coin collectathon here, um... In order to actually get a star for the 100 coins, um, you actually have to get every single coin in this course, because this is a pretty small course, and I think if I can, uh, well, out of all these courses, I think this course has the lowest amount of coins, which would be just about 100, counting the blue coins and the red coins. So I think this may be the lowest amount in this course, well, for what this course has. So unlike in other courses where you just have to collect like as many coins as possible until you get to 100, this course, well, you do have to collect all of them because there aren't that, there aren't as many as the other um, as in the other courses. Oh yeah, and check this out. Um, something's going to happen like once I uh, collect this. Well, actually, uh, once I get this uh, last rare coin, of course, the star is going to appear. But then watch what happens after I collect that star, and I guess it's because I was uh. Grabbing onto the pole over there. But yeah, I did have to cut out a majority of this video. Like, it was... I think it was about 15 minutes long originally, but since I cut a lot of the, um... the parts... when editing... Well... You know, that, that's in courses like this when the game slows down to a crawl. Alright, so here we go. I get a star. Look at this! Yeah, um... So, once I got that star... Of course, Mario would do his usual pose. He, he does that, he does, he does his normal pose when he's not underwater. When, he's at, when he actually is underwater. And the moment I saw this, I literally dropped my controller. I was flabbergasted, like you wouldn't believe. Oh, we got this message here. We have 70 power stars, and the mystery of the endless stairs is solved. And Bowser was upset about that. And we have the final bout. And after this message, just... See, look at this. After this message, this message is over. It's like... Mario just... <laughs> Mario just, like, goes all the way up to the surface. Very fast. Like, he just... He just skyrockets all the way up to the surface. It's weird. I just never thought I would use that kind of glitch. Yeah. <laughs> It's just weird. I, I was so surprised by this when I was when I was recording this game. I was so surprised. I I was at a loss for words at this, honestly. I, I really was. Ugh. It's just weird. So anyway, uh, we have 70 stars now, so we have reached the required amount of stars that you need to beat this game. As for what the dialogue said, that um 
to the final bouts. Now this is uh, this mission here through the jet stream is very similar to the other one in um, Jolly Roger Bay, except that this is even more tedious. And this might take a few tries because um, you have to get through these uh, these rings five times, and then that's when the star appears. And it can get pretty annoying, so you have to be more precise when trying to um, when trying to get through those rings. But anyways, um, I think this is also where I, uh, where I screwed up at one point, just trying to get to the star. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 never mind, never mind. I was thinking about how I was trying to use Metal Mario f to get to the rings. Never mind, I, I got to this star very well. And this course right here is the Manta Ray's re re reward. Same thing as the other one, just go through those rings that the, uh, Manta Ray leaves behind. And then there's a star. Yeah, these missions here get a little repetitive for some reason in, in this course. So back to what I was saying. So 70 stars would be the required amount for you to beat this game. So yeah, um, we would have just beat this game pretty early. And um, well, like I said, I'm still going to 100% this game. As you can see that I'm just collecting more than 70 stars. Because we can still be the game now, but I still want to get every single star there is. I, I still want to do 100% in this game. So it is. So for us, it's too early to get to Bowser. We're only at course 9, and we're, we haven't even finished the uh, 15th course yet. And this mission pretty simple, just uh, what you gotta do, actually. Um, just get the Vanish Cap, put it on first, and then get through this grating here. And then you put on the metal cap. So now um, you can actually um, be vanished metal Mario. Or invisible metal Mario. So it's actually pretty cool like that. You can actually uh, take advantage of those things. So it, it actually is, there actually still is a way for you to combine those, um, those caps that you use. So it's, for, so it's pretty neat like that. Or you can just use vanished Mario and just get through the, um, and just get through the grading. Whichever way you choose. So... Anyway, I know I keep interrupting myself when it comes to those missions I wanted to talk about. So, if you already uh, what, saw what the uh, dialogue was saying, um, they, it was saying something about the Endless Stairs, and, uh, sorry if, uh, kind of spoiled it a little bit there, because we haven't even made it yet. But, um, at the very, uh, top of the castle, like, once you get to that, um, one star door that will reach the, um, the final Bowser course, uh, those would be called the Endless Stairs, and if you go up, try to go up those stairs, they never end at all, as for what the name implies. But since we got all 70, since we got the uh, 70 stars, and since um, we kind of broke the, um, broke the kind of spell, the Endless Stairs, we can go up them very easily now. That means I, uh, I probably never really got to show them off. Do not worry, though. Um, even though um, I did collect 70 stars, and probably seems like I may not be able to show them off. Um, what I actually did was that I actually copied my file, my Let's Play file, for when I got about 69 stars and moved them to file C. So that way there, um, I, I actually really do want to show off those endless stairs for the sake of this LP. And I do, I, I probably would feel kind of bad for you um, to, um, to not show them off. And just having to collect 70 stars and not being able to show them off at all. So I was able to just copy that file and then just place it in Mario C to show her, show that it says that I have 69 stars. So that way I'll still be able to show off the endless stairs. Just for the uh just for the sake of the LP. Just, just to show it off if you guys um want to see it. I could tell you it is pretty ominous, but anyway, that, that, that's what I did. So so don't worry about it. Just just don't panic there. I, I'll still show it off, so. Anyhow, well, we're, we're just about reaching 10 minutes here because I kept on going on, so at least it, this video itself is not exactly 7 minutes. <laughs> so, next time on Let's Play Super Mario 64, we are going to our next course. We have now completed Dire Dire Docks, and so we have completed the basement. So now our next stop is the second floor of Peach's Castle, and on to course number 10. Yeah, we're getting there, I should say. We're getting there. So, till next time, see you guys later.